We have with us Dr. Saul Wiener, Director of the Combined Residency Program in Internal Medicine and Pediatrics at the University of Illinois Chicago and a professor at the university. He's going to be telling us about medicine pediatrics, combined medicine pediatrics. Thank you, Dr. Wiener. Thank you. I'm pleased to be here. Please give us a quick uh, overview of medicine pediatrics, sometimes called MedPeds, what it is about and how it works. Well, uh, everybody knows what a pediatrician is, and uh, I would say most people know what an internist, although sometimes people think an internist is the same as an intern. Uh, an internist is essentially a pediatrician for adults, uh, <laughs> somebody who is a specialist in the care of adults. So an internist and pediatrician is someone who has trained in both. Ordinarily, it would take six years uh, to do them in sequence because internal medicine is a three-year program and pediatrics is a three-year program. And again, this is after medical school. And uh, to do both would probably discourage most people, but there is a way in which, through a special type of training program, you can actually do both trainings in a four-year period. So it's essentially an intensive way of getting through these two residencies. And what inspired you to enter a career in medicine pediatrics? Well, I originally was going to go into neurology, uh, and I had already applied to 12 neurology programs, uh, but something unusual happened. I got a flyer in my mailbox my fourth year of medical school that gave me an opportunity to go to the Albert Schweitzer Hospital in Africa. And I, I, I set out on that trip with a, 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 a colleague of mine who's now become a close friend. Uh, I was qualified because I spoke French, and that's what they were looking for with medical students. And when we got there, we flipped a coin, and I got pediatrics, and he got internal medicine. There were two wards. And uh, so I spent three and a half months taking care of children, and I suddenly realized that uh, this was what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a generalist. Mm. And uh, I spent a lot of time on the internal medicine ward with Stefan. And uh, when I got home, it was already kind of late because it was getting towards interview season. I had 12 neurology interviews lined up, but there was still time to make some phone calls. And I found out about MedPeds and uh, set out on a new course. And that's that little sort of unexpected pamphlet in my mailbox set me on a completely different trajectory. It's fascinating. Uh, what are some of the, in terms of a generalist career, what are some of the satisfactions and challenges, in particular, of course, with medicine pediatrics combined? Well, I love primary care. I love taking care of people uh, across the age spectrum. And it's, from my perspective, almost a little odd that somebody would train to take care of half of all people. Uh, if, you're a, if you're a pediatrician, you, you're a wonderful primary care doctor, but it's, it's just until the age of 18. And if you're an internist, you start taking care of people once they're 18. And that always struck me, at least now, it strikes me as kind of odd. Uh, if you're going to be a primary care doctor, then take care of people throughout the lifespan. And of course, there are only two ways to do that. There's family medicine and there's internal medicine and pediatrics. Thank you so much. And uh, just to close out, what advice would you have, generally speaking, not just around medicine pediatrics, but for uh, people who want to be future doctors? The advice I would give is that it's a long and hard road and you'll often be distracted by all the stuff you have to memorize and learn. But remember, at least for me, this has been important, remember that it's fundamentally about caring for people. Taking care of people when they're in a time of great need, uh, when they're scared, when they're suffering, and what they need is somebody who engages with them and who cares about them. And I think it's easy to forget about that but it's remembering that and living as a physician in that way that makes it worthwhile. We'll get you through the tough, uh, tough challenges ahead. For me, it does. Thank you so much, Dr. Wiener. Very fascinating story. Thank you for sharing your perspectives. Thanks for having me.